Hi, I'm Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to do this predator camouflage effect in Hit Film Express for free. All right, so last video, which I will leave in the link in a link in the description below, we talked about a technique to create this shadow, silhouetted shadow effect. And I said that we are going to use the same technique to do this uh, predator camouflage technique. So what I have here is some raw footage of me doing some stuff here in the forest. I'm gonna right click on this and make it into a composite shot. It's 10 seconds and I'm gonna click okay. And you could see there I am. Right, and I'm standing perfectly still. And then I start to move a little bit, and then I stand perfectly still again, okay? All right, so now the deal is, last time what I did was I took this and I right-clicked on it and I made a duplicate. And then the duplicate footage, I right-clicked and I made it into its own composite shot, clicking okay. So now I have two composite shots, one that's nested inside of the other and they're identical. Okay, I went into my uh, effects panel, looking under the keying folder, I found the difference key and I drug that down onto the raw footage. Okay, and then I sourced the other footage. And if I turn that off, you can see that because they are exactly the same, they key each other out. But if I go into the raw footage here of the other one and I drag it across or over about three frames worth, then there'll be a little bit of a difference when there is movement, okay? So when I come back to my main footage, well, right now there is no difference because I'm not moving. But as soon as I do start to move, then you see my footage there, right? But then as soon as I stop moving, then I, it ends again, right? So that's how we're going to create that effect. We're only looking for the movement, okay? As soon as the movement happens, then we can use that. So I'm going to find the hue, saturation, and lightness effect, and I'm gonna drag it in. I'm gonna open it up under the master categories. I am going to drop the saturation down all the way to negative 100, making it completely either black or white, in this case, transparent or white. And then I'm gonna boost the lightness all the way up so that I have the sort of a mat, if you will, that I'm going to use, okay? Now, what I have done is, is I have grabbed a frame shot of this footage that I will use as a clean plate. So I'm going to grab that clean plate and just drag it on here, okay? So now it is, and this clean plate is just a picture, okay? It's a PNG that I use, I just exported out of this raw footage. What I'm going to do is search for the displacement effect layer only and I'm going to drag it onto that clean plate. I am going to open it up and source the raw footage where my um, mat essentially is and then I'm just going to play with these numbers maybe 20 by 20 okay. So now you can see that there is nothing there because I'm standing still so there is no mat. But as soon as I start to move, then you can see how all of a sudden my figure starts to move across the, uh, you know, the, the, the forest there. And then as soon as I stop, well, then it goes away again, right? Now, if I were to walk to, say, behind this pole or something like that, then the pole would not be moving, so I would have proper occlusion of that, right? So it doesn't really matter what I'm wearing out there right, or how I'm moving or where I'm moving, as long as everything else in the shot is not moving, okay, that's sort of important. I did have a little bit of an issue with this branch kind of blowing around a little bit, uh, and it was causing its own movement, but it wasn't enough to worry about. Uh, but basically, that's it in a nutshell. If you have a question about how to get that initial mat set up, this thing here, I will put a link in the description for the video below. Otherwise, the displacement part of it is on the clean plate is really the easy part, right? So you just add that to what we did last time, and you have this very cool uh, predator camouflage effect. 
So again, I'm Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. If you have any questions or feedback, please drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.